On this episode, Ben takes a little moment to go, wow. Every now and then in your life, you have to take a little moment to go, wow. Morning guys, it's me again. We're back. Back once again for another one. Um, what we got then? Busy. We are busy. The temperature outside at the minute is not really gone above like minus four. Some poor lad has come off the road on a patch of ice. So his mum called me before. She was like, could we go and drag it out? So that's what we're going to go and do first. That'll be a nice quick job. And then I've got someone from Sleaford who is broken down in a horse box in Sheffield. Sheffield. So we're going to Sheffield in a minute. So we're going to be doing a double vehicle video today. <laughs> I love it. I get to drive Ronnie. I love Ronnie. I love you, Charlie. I love you too. Uh, so anyway, hope you're well. This is going to be a little bit of a different video as well. I'm going to do some like controversial tips and tricks. So if you're new here because you've just been sucked in by my uh, my video that might save you some time and money on your own vehicles, how to look after them, then welcome to the channel. Make sure you uh, hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. We are uh, we have a good thing. We have a good time here. We have a good thing going on, don't we guys? I'm talking to all the OGs. Uh, hope you're well. Go get yourselves a brew. Oh, I've had, somebody has sent me in a request for a, a cocktail to give out. Who knew? His name's Paul, he's a mate of mine. He texted me, he was like, mate, do this one. So Paul has said, you've got to have a beer, a brew, or an old fashioned. Who knew? I don't even know what that is. Google it if you don't, but try one of them. Hopefully they're nice, better than ice creams. Paul's a good crack, man. He uh, He's trying to single-handedly set up a roller disco <laughs> in Sleaford. The problem is, Paul actually went to a roller disco and broke his own back at a roller disco because he forgets that he's not as young as he used to be. But anyway, if you want to go and do these things, mate, then fair enough. But yeah, cheers for watching, mate. We are approaching Holding and Roundabout again. Hopefully we don't die. I will see you when we're on scene with this uh, with this customer. Remember, loads to tell you. A couple of shout outs and some tips and tricks. Looking a little bit sorry for itself, guys. Uh, but we're gonna get it. Uh, we'll get it safely to his house. Um, I'm not gonna talk much on this one. I'm gonna talk to you more when we're in Ronnie later, going to Sheffield. Sheffield. I thought I'd uh, give you a top tip. Being a recovery driver. Put fuel in. Never have to get fuel when you've got a uh, customer's car in the back. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Why bad? I'm an idiot. Why? I will, I will get better at this. I promise. I will get better. Do you know what? People are just the nicest. They were so lovely. They're going to subscribe. Oh, my lights are on. Oh, my lights are on. They're going to subscribe. Look car has dropped off see uh, but look at this right how nice is this they gave me a tip Aww. so that's my pint paid for for tonight I will get myself a pint right now we need to go to Sheffield Sheffield I can't say Sheffield without like I'm in Wallace and Gromit or something uh, okay so that was really interesting so they told me that they've got RAC cover and the RAC now charge for accidents who knew i didn't know that that's i've learned something new so if you have an accident and you're with rac they will charge you and guess how much they were going to charge 189 pounds of the king's british pound uh, for a call out and then one pound 69 per mile after that holy shat jesus that is a lot of money and also one of my competitors, who regularly slates me on social media, I'll have you know, don't you pal, 
you know who you are. I bet you're watching as well. He quoted them 300 quid. Well, I'm not gonna tell you how much I charged, but it was less than half of that. I, that, I keep saying this, don't I? That's why I don't drive a Lambo. Uh, right, guys, enough talking. I'm gonna um, get us to Ronnie, get the Rondog warmed up, get the heaters, light the fires, kick the tires, um, and then we're gonna head our way across to Sheffield, all right? So, and then I'm gonna talk to you. So all of you that are sitting here going, where's these tips? <laughs> wait, you just gotta wait. They are coming. You will get the tips. You will get the tip, innuendo. See you in a bit, all right, when we're at Rondog, when we're in Ronnie. Next clip you see, I'm gonna be at Ronnie. Look at this. Aha, we're here. Good start. Uh, right, we're in Ronnie. We're on our way now to Sheffield. Regular viewers will notice that you are a little bit lower. I am looking down on you. And that is because I am a Blonka and I left my GoPro mount at home. I've obviously used it. I can't even remember what I used it for, but I've obviously used it in another vehicle and I didn't put it, I didn't bring it with me. So you're just gonna have to sit down there. So I've got loads to tell you. Um, the first thing was, do you remember that video? I can't remember how many it was that are in Ireland. How many of you are watching that are in Ireland? I think it was like 187 or something. Well, wow. that video of me doing horrendous Irish accents. Hey Seamus, let's put some clothes on. Holy crap. Uh, has actually now had 643 views in Ireland. Jesus. So 643 of you have watched me do that horrendous Irish accent. So I, all I can say is I'm sorry. I am, I am truly sorry. One person said you have to say this. So I'm going to put it on the screen. So say this a couple of times. And that's the way to say and to, to speak in an Irish accent. I might even see if Chad can do it. Chad, you have a go. Whale oil beef hooked. <laughs> there you go. Uh, a couple of shout outs. So AD Johnson, he's been asking for a shout out for ages and I keep missing him. Um, but there you go, mate. You're getting your shout out. AD Johnson, thank you for watching. Thank you for being an avid viewer of the channel. I appreciate your support as always. But the whole point of this video really, I want to give you some tips, controversial tips, okay? So that some people will not agree with, but or if you don't, or you might just think, well, they're rubbish. This is from my experience of having cars and increasing the longevity, increasing the life of your car and looking after it, just little things, just little bits. And the first thing is, those of you who leave your car in gear, right? I know it's like a historical thing. People, a lot of people leave their car in gear as well as the handbrake. I'm talking about manuals, obviously. And the reason for that is, when you leave your car in gear, say it's on a hill and your handbrake's not very good, what that does is it puts a little bit of strain on the engine and it turns, so the engine is being turned by the crank. It turns the crank and it puts a little bit of force, a constant bit of tension on your cam chain or on your cam belt. And you will stretch the timing chain. And quite often, a lot of people have them, they jump a tube so your timing goes out. So this is your first one from me. I personally think it's a bad idea to leave your, leave your car in gear. And if, you, if, it's, if you're doing it because your handbrake is crap, go and get your freaking handbrake fixed. It just generally needs a bit of lubing up and a little bit of attention and it'll be fine and you'll sort it out. But top tip is you can cause problems for your engine and your timing on your engine if you, um, if you leave your car in gear. So there's the first one. Point number two, right? is a lot of cars nowadays have whacking great loads of torque don't they right so like 600 newton meters 700 newton meters of torque a lot of these like three liter diesel beamers and that comes in really low down like 12 1300 rpm but well, the problem is your oil pump so the oil pump on a car is designed to produce a certain amount of oil pressure at idle and it's also designed to produce a certain amount of oil pressure under load and under revs most manufacturers set that RPM at around 2,000 RPM, right? So at 2,000 RPM, let's say, I'm just gonna use round figures. So let's say they want you, your car to produce 2.5 bar of oil pressure at 2,000 RPM. But at idle, it could be producing something like 0.7 bar. So you've got hardly any oil pressure. That's not a lot of oil pressure. I don't wanna bore you. I know there's gonna be loads of people that are gonna switch off, but around a crank, where the pistons are connected to the con rods and the con rods are connected to the leg bone 
and then it's connected to the crankshaft, you have these things called shell bearings, right? And those shell bearings should have a layer of oil between them and the crankshaft. And that is pumped through a tiny little hole and it's pumped under high pressure. But it ultimately means that metal on metal should never happen. If your engine is producing 600 Newton meters of torque at 1300 RPM, which some engines can be, you are not getting the oil pressure enough to pump those shell bearings full of oil. Okay, so what happens is invariably you end up with metal on metal on the crank, which creates hot spots, which creates wear. The bottom line is this, right? If you're coming up to like a bit of a hill in your car, you've got, yeah, I've got this big three litre diesel, I've got 600 newton meters of torque and I'm at 1200 RPM and you just plant your foot to the floor. Your engine is not producing enough oil pressure to deal with the pressure that the conrods force onto the crank. But the bottom line is this, right? Number two is rev your engine a little bit more. So get the revs up. When you're over 2000 RPM, your car is producing more oil pressure, which means you're getting decent oil quantity and oil flow in the places you need it. So it, you will do yourself a lot of favors by instead of using all that low down torque at 1200 RPM, drop it a cog. Trust me, all right? I promise you, you'll look after it better if you, uh, if you use, the, use more revs. Ben went on to give three more tips but oh my God, was he boring. We've cut it out. If however you would like to hear more of these pearls of wisdom from this numpty, then let us know in the comments and we could maybe do one more tip per video. Peace out. So there's my, uh, there's my top tips for you. How many was that? Too many, you plonker. Right, we're just getting on the A1 now. So there's my top tips to keep you off the back of my truck, okay? Stop you from meeting me. Uh, right, another shout out for you is, uh, we got this picture sent in. You remember I said the other day how if you've got an animal that likes to watch the TV when I'm on it or with Malcolm, then I said send it in. And we got this picture in um, and it's a picture of Rudog and he wants a shout out. So big shout out to Rudog. Come on the sofa mate, come on the sofa. Yes. Come on the sofa. So yeah, thank you for that. If you've got any more, please send them in and I will try and feature you on a video. Right. I'm now, I'm now on the A1, I've got a bit of a run, a bit of a trek to go now. See you in a bit! I've been driving along, that's my job. Um, I've been thinking. I find it really interesting how the last couple of weeks I've had quite a few people tell me I'm a lot cheaper than they thought I would be. Or like that lady who was with her son. That makes me laugh. Distracted again, sorry. But you know how when you're like 10 or 12 or something and you get told off by your parents and you're like, eh. you get told off and you go into like little child mode. That happens again when you become 17 or 18 and you have your first car crash. <laughs> so I got there and I was like, hey, are you okay? And she was like, just stood there, sat there like rolling her eyes. And it's the standard, honestly, I see it all the time when people are there with their kids who have just had their first car crash. As long as they're safe, obviously, and not, not injured. But when they've uh, just been going a little bit quick and it's quite obvious, but it's funny, it does. <laughs> kids are sort of stood there like, uh, like they're eight again, and they've just spilt something. Anyway, um, that's that. What was I just saying? Yeah, my prices. So that lady was saying that my competitor in my town was going to charge her three hundred and twenty pound for that. I find that just crazy, crazy bonkers. But I was supposed to winch it out. I was really looking forward to using Charlie's winch, but. By the time I got there, they'd already uh, they'd already dragged it out with a, f a friend's 4x4, but then they realised the radio was broken. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think I should uh, put my prices up a little? Maybe if I put my prices up, I could afford to drive some newer vehicles. But then you get the new vehicle problems, don't you? I love my old stuff. My old boy, Ronnie here, 2004. done 82,700 kilometres in 20 years. Unreal. You find me another Mercedes Atigo with that ultra low mileage. I tell you no, you won't. I guarantee there isn't. I bet this is the lowest mileage Atigo in the country. 
guys, um, I'm gonna get us up to Sheffield. We're not far away now, we're only 10 miles away now. Um, see, when we get there, and we'll see how big this thing is. It's on a library yard, so I think they've got like uh, horses. There's horses there. So we've got to make sure we don't scare the horses. I'm scared of horses. And there's me not trying to scare them. They bloody scare them. So horses are terrifying. I ride a 150 horsepower motorbike and I'm not scared of any one of them. You give me one horse, they're scared of a crisp packet and we'll throw you off the back. I don't want it. I have just, um, last weekend, revalidated my pilot's license for another two years. I had to go up with an instructor. My mate Fletch did my revalidation, put me through my paces, me and Paige. We jumped in Paige and went and uh, flew about a bit. Did some, he tested me. However, I was gonna suggest, I was gonna say to you, let me know in the comments if you would like to see some more flying content. If you wanna see that, I know a lot of you always say you wanna see some motorbike stuff. You wanna see me do like a track day or riding my bike. Well, that, that can come on. Yeah, we can do that. But let me know if you do wanna see some more uh, flying content, me like flying about, or if you've got any suggestions of places to fly to, let me know and we'll do it. We'll get it done on the channel. All for the good of the channel, obviously. <laughs> We've had quite a few people join the fighting talkers, by the way. If uh, if you are interested in that, please uh, see the link in the description. It, it honestly, I can't tell you how much it helps, and I appreciate every one of you. You're all on the back of the truck. Though. Well, some of you don't want to be on the back of the truck, which is fine. You're not. Um, but yeah, all of you, all of you that wanted to be, you're on there. You're on there on display. In fact, the guy behind, he's reading it right now. Right, we're at the postcode and I can't oh, see anything. I think there's some stuff through the woods there. I just don't know how to get to it. How do I get? Yeah. Okay, we are here, on scene. Okay. Yeah, fine. I don't know when it broke down here, but it might have been like 1942, and then it spent a bit of time talking to the Titanic at the bottom of the sea. Did I say that out loud? On private land, look, I can film and hold and do do whatever I want. Look at me. Look at Fatty on the back. She's a 
big girl, like. Now listen, horsey people. I'm sure there's some horsey people on here with like long, look at it. With like long suffering husbands and I'm sure there's some husbands with long suffering wives and all that sort of crap. I just do not find the horse community to be the friendliest. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying fam. I don't know, I could be completely wrong. Oh, I haven't actually done my sat navings. Satellite navigationings. It'll all, uh, as you take the lid off, it'll all fire out all over you and probably burn you, so don't do that. No worries. Uh, Emma, Emma, you're on YouTube right now. Yeah, I'm filming right now and I've filmed this conversation and you are on it. <laughs> what do you want to say? <laughs> Uh, she says hi, Emma says hi. Right, uh, I'll speak to you in a bit, Emma. See you later, bye 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 bye. I think you might have just missed all the action. My neighbour Emma just phoned me because she's had her water pump replaced on her Audi today and um, her level's low. So I was talking her through, telling her that it's a cold level check and to wait. And I don't think the camera filmed any of it, it glitched. So anyway, uh, here we go. Big shout out to Emma. take a little moment to go wow look at that crikey uh, guys that is Charlotte's horse box dropped off for her I'm taking a little moment just to remember that I'm not dead I'm healthy I'm happy Thank you very much for coming on, uh, coming out in my cup with me today. I've lo I love having you with me. I love having you on board. I love every bit of this YouTube journey that we're on and I'm intrigued to see how big we can make it. Remember, if you want a mug, if you want any merch, drop me an email, sleafordrecovery at gmail.com. Whatever you do this week, be happy, do it well, and uh, smile, it confuses people. But much love, guys. Take care, I'll see you on the next one. Don't look before you leave What you give, you get to so long, farewell, bye-bye.